Young Sprouts Late at night, under a sky full of stars, a question appeared in the heart. What if someone lived on Mars? Suddenly, the stars shimmered, and a glowing rocket burst through the clouds. The journey began. With a soft thud and a swirl of red dust, the rocket landed. Everything was quiet. The ground looked like a giant desert, and the sky glowed pink. Bubble-shaped house stood on the surface, sealed tight, with lights gently glowing inside. The door slid open, warm, protected and safe from the cold outside. Before stepping outside, the space suit sealed with a hiss. Thick gloves, helmet, oxygen tanks, ready for adventure, each step felt lighter. With one bounce, the body soared into the air, like walking on a trampoline in slow motion. The winds began to howl. Orange dust swirled across the sky like waves. Shelter was the safest place now. Lunch floated in the air. Vacuum-packed cookies and crunchy space veggies. No crumbs allowed in zero-g. A message was recorded and sent to Earth. No instant reply. Just a slow signal through the stars. Up above, two small moons zipped through the sky. They looked like potatoes, but they moved fast. The rover rolled up a rocky hill. Ahead stood a giant volcano, taller than anything seen on Earth. A drill hummed deep underground. Ice shimmered in the chamber below. Water, precious and rare. In a glowing classroom, screens floated and lessons unfolded. Today's topic. Building a greenhouse in space. As night fell, stars filled the sky like diamonds. So clear, so close even Earth twinkled far, far away. In the sleeping pod, lights dimmed. A soft hum played. And a hologram of Earth glowed on the ceiling. Morning light peeked through the window. It was all a dream, but the wonder stayed. And someday someone just might go.